question number four. This was the toughest landing area we have attempted to, to reach on the moon. Describe what it was like flying into it. Well, I think uh, to begin with, we had uh, every confidence that we could get to the landing site. Uh, the trajectory had been modified such that we had uh, adequate clearance over the mountains. And uh, the first sight I had out the window was uh, somewhere around probably uh, nine or 10,000 feet as we passed down below the upper elevations of Mount Hadley. And I could see uh, Mount Hadley to my left before we uh, pitched, pitched over and saw the, the plane at Hadley. And uh, that was probably uh, as impressive a sight as I've seen. Uh, the landing itself, once we pitched over, was uh, somewhat of a surprise in that the, the cratering was much more subtle than we had expected. Uh, there was a great lack of any uh, large fragments or boulders on the surface. It was uh, apparently quite smooth, and uh, those uh, rather deep craters, which we, we had anticipated using as uh, landmarks, because of their subtlety, uh, did not appear quite as readily as we had hoped. Uh, I think we did recognize our relative position uh, east-west of the rill because of the size of the rill itself. Uh, I think we were a little off in the north-south, but uh, close enough to handle the traverses of the rover. And I think that uh, having a vehicle such as that, as that enables us to go into uh, more complicated, difficult landing areas because it's not necessary to land on an exact point. Uh, we can take advantage of our mobility and land anywhere within a certain prescribed area which was uh, initially our goal on this flight. Question number five for Al Ward. 